Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new guitar lesson. Today I'll be teaching you how to play the riff, the guitar part for Charlie Putt. Charlie Putt? Is that how you pronounce his name? Charlie Putt? I don't even know. But the song Attention, which is a pretty good song. I love the guitar part in it. Now there's, I believe there's two parts in this. I've only listened to it a few times and uh, I know the chorus is a little... Something like that, but uh, I'm 100% on that part, but I'm gonna give you the, the other parts, the main parts, the main, the very, the intro, the verse, and and it's pretty fun, so let's just go straight through it once, and uh, we'll come back then and show you what we're doing, so. That is basically the main riff, and uh, so let's get straight into it, I'm not going to waste any time talking about it, because it's a very nice riff. So what you're going to do is basically you're going to get your, um, this shape. <laughs> it's basically a, uh, oh Jesus Christ, D sharp, D sharp, uh, minor, I believe, so, yeah. D minor, yeah. D sharp minor, it doesn't matter what the chord's called, <laughs> it'll just run you through it. So you're gonna have to run, you're gonna have to have your um, fourth finger, sixth fret of the A string. Make sure you have that, so that's all you need first, fourth finger. I'm gonna do the bar chord shape, so it's gonna be fourth finger, sixth fret on the A string, eighth fret, ring finger on the D string, eighth fret, pinky finger on the G string, middle finger, seventh fret, B. So. And the way you're going to play this is basically... So you're going to do that, just going to go down and back. So you're going to go down three and then back one. So it's going to be one, two, three, and then back up one, two. So it's going to be the A string, so I'll name the strings. A, D, G, D. A, D, G, D. Then you're going to go down to the next one. It's going to be the B string. I'm just going to go hit that twice. We're going to take a middle finger off. And yeah, fourth finger is going to be flattened down the sixth fret behind it, so it's def definitely like a. It's definitely a bar chord shape. Obviously, it's D sharp minor. Let's see how to get that right. Uh, let's see now. So it's going to be, again, just the fourth part. Make sure you get that down. And pan mute everything. Sorry, I should, should I mention this at the very start. Everything is pan muted. So if you don't know what pan muting is, basically, no pan mute. Ring it out, palm you. We don't want to go too heavy on it where you can't, you can't hear a damn thing. So palm muting basically something. If you don't know how palm muting is, you just have to basically see the back of your hand right here, right there. You're gonna rest that. Here's the strings we'll say. You're gonna rest it just gently across, and that's terrible. Gently across the strings, gently while you play. So you're not pressing down. You're just gently resting it. So. Rest your palm, just bring it, the best way to do this, in my opinion, is go to the very end of the guitar and have your hands just like that, just off where the strings start. So the strings start there, just rest it there, and just roll it across. And you got your palm mute position, but work on that, practice the palm mute. And if you don't know what palm mute is yet, don't worry about it. Just play it whatever way you want, first, and then worry about the palm mute later on. For those of you who can't palm mute, definitely get on it now. So, let's get back to this again. So it's going to be again. And the next part's gonna be, as I said, you're gonna block the sixth fret on the G, B, the G, <laughs> the B string, which is fourth finger. So you're gonna, again, fourth part. Then the B string's gonna be seventh fret, sixth fret. Then you're gonna come back up to the G and D. So it's gonna be fourth part again. Next part. Next part. So there you go. You got that? There you go, first part. Next part is gonna be, you're gonna just slide down, keep the same shape, but the best thing is you keep your middle finger off. You slide down two frets, so you're on the sixth, eight, 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 six, eight, eight, four, eight, six, sorry, <laughs> can't even speak. Six, eight, eight, six. So that's shape, so. You're gonna slide that down two frets, so you're gonna go back to the fourth fret. So you got four, six, six, four. See? And this one's this part is quite easy. So I'll get to the very start again. Slide down. I'm just gonna go straight down each string. 
See? Then you're gonna take a little finger off and just put it onto the eighth fret on the last B string. The, 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 the G string. The Jesus Christ. The B string, I apologize. So <laughs> you kinda go straight down. You see? So it's gonna be fourth fret, sixth fret, sixth fret, fourth fret, which you're blocking with your first finger, remember, behind. And then sixth fret, pinky finger. So start again. Slide down. There you go. That's that's the first half of the start. And let's get into the next part. <clears throat> you're gonna slide your first finger, you're just gonna get out of that shape altogether. Bring your first finger up, but this time you're gonna use the E string. So you have to block every single string with your first finger, which is basically a bar like chord. So you're gonna have to just flatten across all the strings with your first finger. It's gotta be the first finger. It doesn't have to be, but it makes it things easier. Could be the middle, but you don't wanna complicate things. So first finger across all of them. And you're gonna play now the E string once, palm mute it again, obviously. Then I'll come down to the D and G string, so you're just gonna go E string, D, G, D. That's it. So next part. And then after that you're gonna go down to the B string, still flattened, 6th fret. And you're gonna bring your small pinky finger or ring finger onto the 8th fret of the G string. And then you're gonna pull off, so it's gonna be A, 6 on the G string. So that part again, we'll start again. It's gonna be 6 on the A, then D, G, D. The next part's gonna be 8th fret, B string, 6th fret, sorry, B string, 8th fret, G string, 6th fret, G string, and then back to the D string for the 6th fret. So we'll run through that part really slowly. Again. That is that part. So we'll start the whole thing again. We'll run through it and we'll get to that part. <coughs> Excuse me. So if you want to follow along, I'll play it very, very slowly. So we're going to start again. You ready? One, two, three. There you go. That's how far we've come. And the last part is quite simple. It's going to be 7th fret E string. A 9th fret A, 9th fret D. That's it. Let's do that. No, that's not it, but that's just one part. Pretty straightforward, eh? See? 7, 9, 9, the power chord. So. The next part after that is basically 6th fret G string, 8th fret G string. So, last part is. And then the very, very last part is on the A string, 4th fret, fret, and then 5th fret. And you start again. So, last part again. 7, 9, 9, 6 on the G, 8 on the G, 4 or 5 on the A. And you start again, get into that shape, see? Oh, I just got lost. <laughs> Basically, that's that's the thing, you know. Yeah, we all make mistakes, of course. So there you go. That is um, that is the whole thing. That's think that's basically the intro. Does it once, and I think it's like four times in the verse, and you can hear it going on. But there is one part I know that before one of the choruses, if I recall, it does at the very end. It does this instead at the very end. This part. So. If it's a pre-chorus, but I don't, I don't know where, I don't know which chorus. I think it's each chorus, or it's one of the choruses. But before it, this is what happens. This is the last bar before the chorus, so it's gonna do the whole. And this part here, it just goes down and then it goes down and back up. So it's seven, nine, 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 seven. Then the chorus comes in. So that's just remember that one part. If you listen to the song closely, you'll hear that at one of the parts. Like instead of going to the. It just does. So that's one thing. Now, the next part is going to be the chorus. Now, I'm not familiar with it too much. I should probably go back and listen to it before I attempt to teach it. But I've got an idea of what it is. I can show you where it is. And if you'd like to go ahead and listen to it yourself and figure out the exact intricacies, intricacies of, the piece, of the piece, can't even speak. If you want to go back and check it out yourself, feel free. But I'm going to give you what I, what I figured out just by listening for a few minutes of that part. But 
it's gonna be nine, uh, eight fret on the G string. I'm just gonna like play a couple of like, little. And you're gonna block. I, I like to just. It's probably not in the song, but I like to do that. Just block them. Just take your finger gently off. So you just block them. And it's a little hammer on from the sixth fret to the eighth fret. And then the last little thing before uh, it ends the bar is gonna be. Excuse me. So it's gonna be seventh fret, sixth fret, pull off on the B string. And then sixth fret on the G. So. And I believe there's a part where it's maybe it does a little yeah that thing so I'll show it with that so it could be just and it's gonna be a pull off eight fret to the sixth fret on the G string then eight fret on the D string so that's that's the riff that goes on during the chorus um, now again I don't know the exact structure of that I just know those are the parts. But I haven't listened enough to actually figure out how it is as exactly done. But if you want to go ahead and listen to it and play along to it, it's really fun. And you'll figure it out yourself, I'd imagine. Just if you continue to play along to it, you'll get the hang of it. So that's basically Attention by Charlie Puff. Um, so that's just the main verse, uh, intro verse, and it's a really, really fun thing. The bass is amazing in that song. I might do a cover of the bass. If anyone wants to see a bass cover of that, and a bass lesson, I should say, then feel free to let me know. I'll definitely work on it, because I'm going to cover some of his other songs on the bass, because he has really nice bass guitar and a lot of the songs. So I'm going to work on that so, uh, soon, I'll be uploading those eventually. So I'm going to run through it one more time, just very very slowly if you want to follow along. So here we go. Oh my god, I apologise, I'm getting confused again. I'll just try and go, I'll try and wing it, there we go. <laughs> Apologies. That doesn't really work. <laughs> anyway, the chords, forget about that. So anyway, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Charlie Puff, attention, Puff, Charlie Puff, attention, and that is the, again, I'm going to repeat myself, intro, verse, and then the little chorus. So there you go, hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and I hope you uh, play along to the song, it's a really really fun song to play along to, trust me, when you get the hang of this, it's so much fun playing along to it, and then the chorus riff, if you can figure out the, the actual structure of that, I've only got the, uh, the what it is, the notes, I've no idea after that, so that is, um, yeah, Charlie put attention, it's really really fun, and I'll be uploading that, as I said, as I said, I'll be working on some of his songs for the bass, so if anyone's interested in listening to some bass, and learn the bass, because the bass is a beautiful instrument, uh, especially in that kind of music. I know um, uh, Bruno Mars and a few other artists uh, that, like, even rappers and stuff, that they use bass, but not that really boom, 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 the kind of really deep bass that's on their synthesizer or whatever. They actually use, like, a real bass guitar, and it sounds fantastic in some of their songs. So I'm definitely going to be working on some bass lessons as well for some of those really cool songs. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to doing those too. So again, I'll be uploading probably soon, a bass, probably soon, definitely soon, a uh, bass to, I'd say that song, and here's a few other songs I like. Anyway, this has been the guitar lesson, so, thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the lesson, and I'll see you in the next one.